One of the most eye-catching symbols of Venice is its famous gondolas. These flat-bottom rowing boats are well suited to handle the conditions of the Venetian lagoon and the narrow and shallow waterways. The canals in Venice are all about two meters deep, except the larger ones like the Grand Canal, which is six meters deep. The gondolas is like an asymmetric narrow canoe, heavier to the right, since the gondolier stands to the left on the boat. In early centuries, there were more than 10,000 gondolas in Venice. Now, there are just over 400 in active service, almost all of them in use for tourist purposes. The gigantic Venetian hotel in Macau brought a few years ago more than 50 authentic gondolas to use in their indoor shopping mall copy of Venice. If these had been in use in Venice earlier, or just new ones, it's uncertain. A new gondola today costs more than 40,000 euro and is built up by 280 handmade parts. You can embark on a gondola tour from several different places in Venice. All of them offer small routes along the narrow canals in their surroundings. From the Rialto area, explore the canals north of the Rialto Bridge. This trip is quiet, with many private homes. From the areas around the luxury hotels to the west of St. Mark's Square, the trip passes the Opera House and a short visit in the Grand Canal in front of the Guggenheim Museum. From the northwestern corner of St. Mark's Square, you can join a gondola from Barcino or Soello and explore the narrow canals around this beautiful small basin. You can also explore the area near the Bridge of Sai and the area east of St. Mark's Square. Each trip is regulated and has the same price, about 80 euros for 30 minutes. Many of the gondoliers have very fascinating stories to tell. In our case, he was the fifth generation gondolier in the same boat. To be able to and allowed to be a gondolier, you have to have an education, both practice and theory. In addition to knowledge regarding the gondolas itself, you know much of the canals and the buildings and the history of Venice. And they are fluent in English. We said he about the gondolier earlier. That's because most likely the gondolier is a male person. But if you're lucky, you can get the only female gondolier available in Venice. Her name is Miss Pascolo. In 2010, she broke with the 900 year tradition and became Venice's first female gondolier, following in the footsteps of her father, who had been a gondolier for 40 years. Jumping on a gondola tour in Venice is perhaps one of the most touristy things to do here, but it's a great experience. You can't really visit Venice without having tried one. For more videos from Venice and the rest of the world, visit allthegoodies.com. Please subscribe to All The Goodies by pressing our logo.